anybody else in there? Yes. Our pilots, our pilots. Tonight, the victims of a fatal plane crash in southwest Florida have been identified as the pilots on board. The private business jet left Friday afternoon from Ohio State University Airport. Two passengers who survived that crash who you saw in that video there have also been identified as Columbus residents. NBC4 has been following this story since it broke, and we've been working to gather new information as it becomes available. NBC4's Jackie Gillis joins us now to, with the latest on this investigation. Jackie. Kyle, it's a miracle that anyone made it out of this alive. In this video, you can hear the passengers ask for this witness's phone so that they can call for help. The pilot, 50-year-old Edward Murphy and co-pilot, 65-year-old Ian Hoffman, did not make it. They were both from Florida. 35-year-old Aaron Baker and 23-year-old Audra Green were the two passengers on board, and those two are the Columbus residents. Sydney Bosman is the crew member from Florida who also survived. The three of them were taken to a local hospital to be treated for any injuries. Now, the five of them were on board a Challenger 600 for a Friday flight. It left the Ohio State University Airport at around 1 p.m. and crashed just a couple hours later near Naples. In the final moments before the crash, we can hear the pilot contact the Naval Air Traffic Control Tower. Take a listen. Okay, uh, Challenger, uh, uh, hop it in, 823. Lost both engines, emergency. I'm making an emergency landing. Service. Got the emergency clear to land runway 23. Is that hop it in, 823? Uh, we're clear to land, but we're not going to make the runway. Uh, we've lost both engines. The plane collided with a car on Interstate 75 and caught fire. The jet was scheduled to return to Fort Lauderdale after landing in Naples. And I have reached out to family members of both Green and Baker, but I am still waiting to hear back. The National Transportation Safety Board is investigating this incident.